Hello! Today our topic is about 10 athletes who have achieved great feats in the area of bodybuilding. Some have had unfortunate endings by way of posing threat to their health. There are many articles that talk about the benefits of enhancers and quick gains with hormones, but its after-effects are kept in the dark. These 10 athletes who have had close encounters with death will dissuade you from substance abuse. Arlindo Anamalia, also known as Arlindo D'Souza. Arlindo is more commonly known by names such as The Mountain or real-life Popeye in his hometown. Some find the latter to be adorable, but on encountering Anamalia, the results are less endearing. Words like grotesque can enter your mind. In Brazil, it was all the rage to bulk up your arms to such levels. It wasn't too long after Anamalia followed suit to regain repute as the mountain. It was a dangerous health hazard of bulking one's arms with a lethal duo of alcohol and oil. His 29-inch arms are undoubtedly the biggest in Brazil. The combination of alcohol and oil make it look as if he is permanently flexing his biceps with mounds of flesh bulging out, ready to pop. Arlindo claims that he has quit injecting himself with the deadly combination following the death of a personal friend, who realized that his constant injecting is a threat to his well-being. He said that he advocates against injections because of this accident. However, he says that they are addictive and says that it causes desire to want to experiment with it once again. As a good-looking man in his early 40s, he had a relatively bulk body with the administration of artificial enhancements. His natural muscles swelled with the vitamins he took that were meant for horses. He constantly worked out so his bodily strength remained intact, but there were other combinations like abscesses forming in his muscles and dizziness he felt during the injections. Mustafa Ismail. His name is synonymous with monster and is known all over the world as an extreme bodybuilder who had a penchant to abuse substances and artificial enhancers to achieve his bull-like body. Extreme abuse, his health is on the rocks. Naturally, there are complications that are affecting his heart, his blood pressure, and his muscles are threatening to explode. In extreme conditions, he can die or have his arms amputated. Ismail currently holds the Guinness records for the largest biceps on a man. His absurdly large biceps measure 31 inches in diameter. That's almost an average man's waist size. He claims there is no foul play, that it was only by consuming 7 pounds of protein daily and a tough exercise regimen. Romero dos Santos Alves This Brazilian national started just like any other person with his regular routines in the gym. Soon, he too was swept away with a trend of injecting himself with a lethal cocktail of painkillers, oil, and alcohol. This combination is known amongst bodybuilders as synthol. It is injected into his bicep to bulk in an unnatural way. When things took a wrong turn, Alves used to terrify people, especially children who were wary of his large arms. He soon resembled more of a mutant than a human being. His wife was six months into her pregnancy when he first attempted suicide. The former bodyguard said he was addicted to synthol that made his muscles rock hard, and doctors threatened that any more abuse would mean the amputation of both his arms. Now, with the successful removal of the solidified substance, he has a new lease on life and advocated bodybuilders to grow the natural way. Greg Valentino Valentino resembles a bull far more than he does a human. A former title holder for the largest biceps in the world, he is guilty of indulging in the deadly synthol. Like all beasts, the enhancers took its toll on the bodybuilders to develop a condition called hematoma. It's a condition where clotting of blood causes your limbs to swell. This occurred in Valentino's right arm. When the leaking occurred, he had to drain it using a syringe. This worked in the short run until lo and behold, his arm exploded into a gory mess, just like an overinflated balloon of water. If this doesn't caution substance abusers, you tend to wonder what will. Klaus Doring Doring resembled a massive boulder. He is hailed internationally as a god for his massive biceps and quads. It's obvious that he uses artificial enhancers to maintain his mutant-like frame. 
At the peak of his bodybuilding career, he would consume a shocking 10,000 calories daily. This has its toll before too long. When he passed away, he was just skin and bones. The heavy toll the abuse in diets and energy drinks had caused cancerous tumors to wreck his body. Monster from Egypt He gained his name for obvious reasons. He joined the field of bodybuilding in his early years out of a passion for the sport and slowly lost his way due to fame and fortune. He began as a youngster by winning titles, and soon greed overtook him, and he began injecting himself with synthol, hormones, and enhancers. He vehemently denies this allegation, saying that he is all natural. But one thing's for sure, there's nothing natural about the monster. Greg Kovacs Throughout the 90s until 2015, the name of Kovacs was known in the world of bodybuilding. First, it was because as a builder who whipped into shape just before the start of the IFBB seasons, and next, because of his astronomical weight gain in the off-season times. There were times he weighed as much as 400 pounds. Even in the world of bodybuilding, this is seen as an incredible gain. At the young age of 44, he succumbed to a heart failure a few years after he had retired. This should serve as a signal to young bodybuilders who aspire to become leaders in their forte, but should refrain from substance abuse and artificial enhancers that can threaten your life. Eli Hanna Hanna's Instagram is flooded with his achievement, his steroid-filled arms. His massive arms look disproportionate and look as if it has been loaded with steroids and artificial enhancers. Hanna is a three-times Mr. World title winner and Mr. Europe Pro and second runner-up for Mr. Universe with his roots in Ukraine. Ernie Taylor Born in Birmingham in the United Kingdom in 1970, Taylor is known amongst all bodybuilding enthusiasts young and old. With a stocky 5-foot 8-inch frame, he weighs 234 pounds during his competitions and 285 pounds during his off-seasons. His entrance to the world of bodybuilding, especially the IFBB, came by storm. In 1997, he placed third out of 42 contestants who were present. In the same year, he qualified to be in Mr. Olympia but declined the invitation. He idolizes Dorian Yates. There was a time when he was known for his psychotic tendencies in the gymnasium involving trainers. There was a suspicion that the reason why he had these episodes was the influx of enhancers and drugs that were wreaking havoc. In the last of the 2000s, there is a steady decline in Taylor's performances. Valdir Segato Segato is a bodybuilder who took the Hulk as his inspiration. He is better known as a bodybuilder who took the incredible risk of abusing his life with synthol to gain massive 23-inch arms. This beefcake bodybuilder, this staggering success, was short-lived. There were repercussions from his usage dating back five years ago because of his one desire to look more like his idol, Arnold Schwarzenegger. His beginnings are humble. As a construction worker, his one need was to define his body. Once he started, there was no stopping him. With artificial enhancers, he has doubled the size of his biceps to a whopping 60 centimeters. As a youngster, Sagata was a skinny child and was constantly the subject of amusement amongst his peers. There was one driving factor that led him to embark on this vicious journey, where he had near brushes with medical complications, including an amputation. An overdose of lethal steroids had him spend a few days in the hospital. He reached an all-time low during this time. 